I have just created this complete full stack mobile application using a web based AI agent that can do a lot more other than just developing mobile applications. I'm actually talking about Manus AI. So Manus has just released version 1.6 and this is not a cosmetic update. This release introduces a new high performance agent called Manus 1.6 Max, complete mobile app development for Android and iOS and a new design layout that finally makes image editing visual instead of prompt only. So in this video, I'll walk you through what's actually new in Manus 1.6, show you the real demos inside the interface and explain where this update really stands for builders, creators and teams. Let's start with the foundation of everything in this update which is Manus 1.6 Max. So you can just go to Manus.im or just click on the link in description and when you'll create a new task in Manus you'll see these three different options. One is Manus 1.6 Max, Manus 1.6 and Manus 1.6 Lite. Manus 1.6 Max is most powerful version and it is designed for complex long running tasks. What makes Max different is persistence and autonomy. In practice, that means it completes more work in a single run without needing a constant human correction. So during the testing, Manus 1.6 Max stays on task longer. It explores more sources and connects information more coherently. Manus officially mentions around a 30% increase in research persistence and that becomes obvious when you are doing things like market research, competitive analysis, multi-document synthesis, and spreadsheet heavy workflows. This is especially noticeable when working with Excel. Manus 1.6 Max generates cleaner spreadsheets, handles more advanced formulas, and structures data that feels more usable for analysts, consultants, and founders. This spreadsheet that I just showed you, I just created it using Manus 1.6 Max. So I just gave it this prompt, collect the most popular VLM model details on Hugging Face datasets. So first it gathered all of this information about VLM datasets on Hugging Face. It gathered as much data as it could, and then it compiled all of that data. It ran few Python scripts as well, and then it created this spreadsheet for us, which is very organized, very well structured. Now I can easily just use this data for my analysis. So if you're doing the serious work, Max is the version that you want to select at the start. Same is the case with coding and development as well. So before Manus writes a single line of code or generate assets, it now introduces something called Blueprint. And this is one of the most important workflow improvements in Manus 1.6. Instead of blindly generating output, Manus shows you the planned structure, layout decisions, feature scope, design direction, and in fact, it creates a custom app logo and branding as well right before starting the project. You can see this is a very detailed design document that it created that includes the complete design DNA for our mobile application. And similarly, there is this todo.md file as well that contains all of the to-do tasks that Manus has to perform to develop this application. So this is how it works. Let's suppose if we give it this prompt. So I just gave it this prompt to create a landing page. So first it analyzed my prompt and then it created this blueprint document. You can see this blueprint document contains everything related to my website. And once it was improved, then it created this ideas.md file to create ideas for my website. And after that, then it started the development of this website. And to make it look more customized and more professional and less AI-ish, what it did, it created these different visuals, these different assets for our website that it is going to use on our website. So all of these different assets it created using Nano Banana Pro. And after that, it finally then started creating these different components and started coding to create our website for us. And there you go, you can see once it finished writing code, our fully customized, very unique looking website is ready. This is not just another like AI designed website. This looks very customized, very unique and not AI generated at all. You can see how beautifully it used these assets that it created initially before even started writing code. So it looks very professional and very customized rather than a simple and other generic design. Manus now supports this complete full stack mobile application development as well. You can create a mobile application in React Native X Expo. Expo is a framework of React Native. So Manus creates a mobile application directly inside your browser and you can then deploy this mobile application for both Android and iOS. And also this is one of the only web-based AI tool out there that also allows you to create a PK file. So let's suppose if you just built your mobile application using Expo and now if you want to test your mobile application on your mobile phone, so you can easily create an APK file and then you can just download that APK file as you can see in here and then you can install that APK file on your phone. If you don't want to install your APK file, what you can do, you can use an app which is called Expo Go and then you can just scan this QR code inside your Expo Go mobile application and then open your app directly inside your phone. So this is the Expo Go mobile application for Android 
and this is Expo Go mobile application for iOS. So if you are an iPhone user, you can easily just download Expo Go mobile application and similarly for Android as well. So this way you can easily test your mobile application that you just developed inside Manus. Also you can access the complete source code in here. You can simply just download the source code as well. And also you can build a complete database as well for your mobile application without integrating any third party services. You can simply just build your database for your mobile application, the complete backend even authentication system as well right here without integrating any third party tools. Similarly, there is this file storage option as well. So if your app needs file storage functionality, you don't need to use any third party services. You can easily just use Manus only and then use this file storage functionality. And also if you're integrating any third party services, like maybe you're using any AI model, so you can easily do that by just adding your API keys in here. And then you can ask Manus to integrate those third party services directly here inside your application inside Manus. So from this same interface, you can build websites, you can build mobile applications. In fact, I created a game as well. I just gave it this prompt, create a classic style 3D city simulator game. And just as usual, first it created that blueprint. And after that, it created these different assets for our game and after that it started writing code and then it built this 3d city simulator game if i just click on this enter simulation and there you go you can see this is the 3d city simulator game so this was just a basic demo of a 3d city simulator and when i publish this game and now i can access it with this simple url what i really like is this really nice looking user interface for this game now let's talk about this design view so i just created this book cover using this design view and you can see this is different than any other ai tools out there because it works like a proper design tool you can create so previously image edits were mostly prompt based with design view now you can get real canvas interface just like this you can edit text on any of these and you can easily customize them and of course there is prompt based editing as well you can easily just like give it a prompt to change anything in any of these but the most fun part is you can just change text on this generated design simply because this design was generated by ai but now with this design view you can easily customize anything in any of these generated designs this feels much more closer to the traditional design tools but powered by ai for marketers and small teams this is extremely practical you can generate full set of campaign assets in one prompt then visually refine them without switching tools or re-prompting everything from scratch now finally let me just give you a few examples where all of this comes together if you are a consultant or a founder doing a market research minus 1.6 max can collect industry data it can analyze competitors it can review documents produce structured reports generate clean spreadsheets and much more for marketing teams design view allows you to generate social media creatives banners and ads email headers and visual campaigns all within one workflow from generation to refinement and for creators or educators manus allows you to go from an idea to a fully interactive mobile application or a web application in just a few minutes without writing a single line of code. So why Manus 1.6 is different? Manus is not just a chatbot. It is not just a code generator and it is definitely not just an AI image tool. It is an action engine. You describe a goal and Manus plans the steps, uses the tools autonomously and delivers usable outputs. Compared to other AI tools, Manus stands out in three different areas. Depth, completeness and control. So if you're a founder, marketer, creator, or someone who wants to build without technical barriers, this update on Manus is absolutely worth exploring. So just go ahead and give it a try and I will leave a link in description to access Manus 1.6. I will also be testing more real world applications using 1.6 Max, mobile apps and design view in upcoming videos. If you have any further questions, just leave your comments in the comment section and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.